a lot of the corruption in the world is because of local maxima. You know, actually, it's weird because unpredictable corruption is the worst. Predictable corruption is a bit like tax. You know, there's a good boast book by Professor John at Harvard about this. And then you have taxation kicking at 14%. Um, if you can show them something bigger, and this is clearly big, they will embrace this technology and set new norms. And if you create the same across all these countries with talented individuals in each of those groups and talented individuals in each of those sectors with a shared mission, even though they're separate organizations, that's how you set amazing standards. That's how you build a network effect. And if you tie them all together with a intelligent protocol, and again, when I'm talking about tokens or speculation or ramps or anything like that, but taking the best of thinking around coordination, that can work. That can break this open, you know? Um, but it's not going to be everywhere. And also, when you look at the current debate, the current debate is, for example, we can't let China have this technology. And you're like, what about the kids in China? Right. Well, you know, if it's dangerous, they can have AGI. So under what circumstance would China ever have this technology? Never. You know, Pakistan, when should they have the technology? Never. That's really what they're kind of saying. It's also self-defeating because China has 100 million people they can use to create data sets and two exaflops of computers. But let's put that to the side. Again, it's a very Western-oriented debate, whereas actually if you go to these countries and you talk to the leaders and the family offices that have power and the people, they will leapfrog in the global south to intelligence augmentation like they let frog to mobile. They want to embrace this technology. And again, you can set norms now versus what's going to happen is, you know, they will get a centralized solution. They'll adopt that instead. If you don't right now, for hundreds of millions, billions of people. So that's why I think, again, it's a crossroads. Is there anybody else working towards the solution that you know of? No. In the, in the large AI counter? No, certainly no credibility. And again, that's why I had to build these models, you know, and I had to kind of do this. Everyone's working on tiny parts of this, but they're expecting emergence. Build it and somehow it will spread. And again, this is why I found it fascinating in the Web3 community. There are good people in there, and I hope to be able to unite them, just like hope to unite the people in health and others. Again, Peter, you've seen people working on tiny parts of this, but this isn't a Manhattan project where we're facing an enemy unless the enemy is ourselves, you know. But this does require this big global coordinated push. And that's why I've tried to design this system that I believe will work because it's all about the talent and it is multiplicative. Is the race against uh, overly powerful centralized AI systems that achieve some version of AGI, is that what we're racing against? Yeah, again, we're racing against ourselves. Humans can scale through stories. You have organizations, you know, come and join Abundance, come and go to Oxford, come and do this. But then when we scaled through text, text was a lossy information format. And there's this poem by Ginsberg, Howl, about this Carthaginian demon of disorder, Moloch, that comes in. Moloch comes in through the data loss. Our organizations are slow, dumb AIs. But now what's happening is they're configuring to achieve their thing of getting more and more power. Again, Corporations are technically a people under law, but they're not fully formed people. They eat our hopes and dreams. So I believe the competition here is against those organizations consolidating too much power and creating norms that are almost impossible to break. So we're almost competing against ourselves. And again, the question is this. Do you believe in amplified human intelligence or do you believe in artificial general intelligence? Do you believe in collective intelligence or do you believe in collected intelligence? Who decides? Is this infrastructure or is this a product? Like, so it's not like a Manhattan project against, you know, the Soviets or anything like that. But it, this is require us all to come together or at least the smartest people in each of these areas from coordination to governance systems to healthcare to education with a blank slate of how do we upgrade the human operating system? The time is now. It's our last chance to do it.